are you tired of waiting for your airlock to go through its repressurization cycle every time? Well, have we got an answer for you? Just step inside, press the button, and within seconds, you will be outside. Just like that. No explosive depressurization and no waiting for active vents. Well, at least on the way out, no waiting for active vents. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it on the way in, Mike. So, how do we achieve this marvel of engineering? Within the space of... That many seconds, we're on the outside. What we do is, instead of using conventional methods for repressurization, we use an explosive repressurization to prevent an explosive repressurization. So this is only one cell wide, and up here we have a valve with a passive vent. Everything that's stored in this pipe will end up in that valve. So let's have another look. Let's pop out our atmospherics tab here, and... Okay, there's about 5.2 mega pressure in this pipe network. The pipe network extends outside. When we press the door, that expels just over a meg. As you can see, the pipe work there isn't massive. It's just something. And it, it, it expelled through the valve within, and I put a two second wait time on this airlock and it seems to be doing the job fairly well. And it even works in lower pressures, so let's do that again. Every time, without fail. I mean, you might get a tiny bit of, of, of mismatch every now and then, but it doesn't seem to be taking on very much more pressure, and it seems, that, it seems fine every time. But now if we quickly scooch through here, you will see that I have exactly the same setup in my, for my greenhouse. This is a lot lower pressure, and exactly the same code works pretty much without having the woof, whoosh of, of air every time. And then on the way out, it's the same thing again. Now I am using two ICs here. This one just has the active vent one, and it has all the active vents on the same circuit. So when one comes on, they all come on and that's just because I could do a batch right but the networks are not isolated so if I, I basically every time I go through an airlock they'd all come on which would be bad so that's the basic I premise of what what it does let's have a look at the code now I will link mix in-depth descript in-depth video on airlocks there and on in the cards at the end but for this intents and purposes, we basically have a door in, a door out, a vent out, a sensor, and a value, a vol, value a valve for pressure output. So, to in the startup phase, the door will be set. The both doors will be set to logic mode one, and they'll be closed. And then the vent for the outer will come on just to take out anything that happens to be there. Now you could set that up as vent inner if you expect the inner door to be the one that's open when it's initialized. Then we wait for the pressure in from the sensor to go to nothing. And then we open the outer door and then wait for the... Uh, we Sorry, we close the... We turn off the vent, we close the inner door, make sure the inner door is definitely closed. It should be, but just in case. Yield. Wait for the inner to close. Um, when it has closed, then the volume, volume, the valve for the output will come on. Then it'll sleep for two seconds, then it'll the volume, the, the valve for the pressurized output will go off. The door on the outer will open and then it'll wait for the a, a, a door to be pushed. If it's when one of the buttons are pushed, the outer door will close, we'll wait for the door to close, we'll put the vent on, we'll wait for the pressure to go to nothing. Then we'll open the when we'll shut the vent off, we'll open the inner door and then wait for the inner door to be pressed and then when one has been pressed, we'll shut the inner door and jump back up to the open outer, which will basically, once the pressure's gone, it'll turn off the vent. Double make sure the door is definitely shut, just in case. <laughs> um, I do have a, a safety feature on there where it's on twice, just in case, but yeah, c'est la vie. And there you have it, it's quite that simple. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed this idea. I hope it helps you in your bases, saves a bit of time. I know it's saving me time already. So good luck and goodbye for now. Just one more thing before I go. If you are going to build this, I would strongly suggest that you put in... Now, I'm on Venus. It'll change depending on where you are, but I put in about 4 meg before now to get this to work, because if you do it with the bow, make sure the bow's off, it'll take some time, but it'll slowly mount the pressure, but you won't get the same decompression. You'll get a woof, and you'll get you, you, you will get a bit of blast back in. Just It will sort itself out eventually, but if you want to speed that along, just pop in, I'd say, I'd say for Venus pressure, 200 kilopascals on the outside, I'd get it up to somewhere around four, doesn't have to be much more than that, um, shouldn't take too long. Then again, it'll, this is only for Venus in my experience. Goes to the inside, and then when it's time to depressurize, boom, boom, two seconds, and enough to get outside with the minimal amount of, of back pressure coming in. So it's only there to stop the explosive decompression, not to be a complete and utter equilibrium when you're going out, but it will stop the, the big gusts. So anyway, hope that helps.